I mean, you get the feeling that the writers go out and have a few drinks and they dare each other to do things. Hi, it's me again, and I've been saying for a while how depressing soap operas are. They have the most depressing storylines and everything about them is just to bring you down. I've never understood it, especially Christmas Day episodes. They always make them the most depressing, don't they? And now a newspaper is backing me up on it. Have a look at this headline. Soap's sickest storylines after fans call for arrest of Emmerdale... Word, Kane Dingle, from Twincest to Buried Alive. You know, fair play to the writers. The soaps do tackle some stuff that you wouldn't expect them to tackle, don't they? You always hear these weird storylines. You think, blimey, I can't believe they're doing that. So credit where it's due to the writers. They're brave. They've got some bottle to have a stab at it. But these things are on every day. And every day they're just bringing people down. I don't like soap operas. Do you like soap operas? Let me know in the comments below. Right, let's have a look at some of the most depressing storylines or... What did it say? Sickest storylines. That sounds interesting, doesn't it? Right up my alleyway. Right, let's have a look. EastEnders. Lauren Branning beds her cousin. In a squirm-inducing EastEnders storyline, Lauren Branning fell in love with her own cousin, Joey Branning, after moving in with her dad, Max. Well, that doesn't sound too bad, that one. Does it, cousin? I mean, it's not right. But yeah, we can do better than that. That's rubbish. Come on, give us a good one. Emmerdale, Charity Dingle has a baby with her cousin. Oh, stepping up the cousin game now. We're getting more involved with the cousins here. I wonder what the next cousin story is going to be. Hollyoaks, twincest between Sienna Blake and Dodger Savage. Great names. Dodger Savage and Sienna Blake were separated in childhood and by chance hooked up in their teens conceiving Nico. But their dad Patrick lied to Sienna that the baby had been stillborn and secretly put her up for adoption. Two years later, Sienna arrived in Hollyoaks, her long-lost daughter rocked up too. Welcome to the wonderful world of soap operas there. How many depressing things did we see there? Where are we? Twins separated at birth and then hooking up in their teens. A lying parent saying that a baby had been stillborn, but he secretly put it up for adoption. And that's, uh, that's entertaining, is it? And well, How many times Hollyoaks in a week? A few times a week? So I guess they have to come up with crazy stuff. Otherwise, it'd just get boring, wouldn't it? But why does it have to be depressing, crazy stuff? Why can't it be funny, crazy stuff? I never understood that. Oh, it'd be a sitcom then, though, wouldn't it? Brookside. Siblings Nat and Georgia fall in love. I remember that. That made it to the news and everything, didn't it? That was like the first big, weird, sick storyline ever in a soap, wasn't it? Let's have a look. The original incest storyline emerged from Brookside in 1996 with brother Nat and sister Georgia Simpson becoming close. Too close. Seven million viewers tuned in to watch a controversial bedroom scene the day before Nat's wedding, blah, blah, blah. Ofcom's predecessor, the Broadcasting Standards Council, ordered Channel 4 to apologise for the pre-Watershed storyline. We can tell our times have changed since 1996, because that doesn't sound too controversial anymore. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw that in a children's cartoon. EastEnders again. Ronnie swaps babies with Kat Slater. When Ronnie Branning's son tragically died from sudden infant death syndrome, she swapped him for Cat Moon's knee Slater's newborn. In a moment of madness, Ronnie switched James for Tommy after hearing him cry upstairs in the Queen Vic. She tried to switch back the babies, but it was too late and Cat found the body. The storyline attracted more than a thousand Ofcom complaints. I'm not surprised. Come on. Eight o'clock at night. It's on, isn't it? Or half seven or something. EastEnders, I don't know. And then people just had their dinner and they're just relaxing after a busy day. And then you've got a lovely storyline about um, a tragically dead kid suffering with sudden infant death syndrome. And then the mother swapping it and hilarity ensues, obviously. Oh, God. I, I don't know why. Why do people watch soap opera? I have no idea. EastEnders again. Tanya Branning buries Max alive. <laughs> Come on. Inspired by a childhood tale where Dad Jim Branning had shut Max in a coffin, Tanya buried him in a shallow grave. In a special Easter episode, Max was resurrected by Tanya after six hours when she felt bad and admitted she still loved him. I mean, you get the feeling that the writers go out and have a few drinks and they dare each other to do things and put things in scripts, right? Because I used to work, I have to give presentations and stuff, and we used to have bets, and you had to put certain words into your presentation and get away with it, and if you could, you'd win the pot, right? And that used to happen all the time in a place where I used to work. 
But you get the idea that the writers are doing something similar, trying to think of the weirdest thing they can put. Let's resurrect somebody from death in an Easter episode. You know, it's got to have been a joke by the writers. It's got to have been. And they snuck it in and there was some high fives and handshakes and some money changing and back in the office. There must have been. EastEnders again. Bobby murders Lucy Bill. So apparently a young kid called Bobby murdered a girl called Lucy Bill. More interesting storylines there. Emma Dale. Maya Stepney grooms her boyfriend's son. Someone's been spending too much time on certain websites and one of those writers has got themselves a bit of a milf deal fetish, haven't they? <laughs> Teacher may have found love with David McHoff, but enjoyed wild sex with his teenage son. What am I saying? Emmerdale. Emmerdale. Last time I watched Emmerdale, it was Seth worrying about the drainage in Bottom Field. Well, there you go. Can you think of any they haven't mentioned there that you thought were particularly ridiculous? Ridiculous. I bet if I put a bit of work into it, I could. Because I used to have to suffer all these. I lived at home till I was about 24, and my mum is obsessed with soaps. So we used to see them all every night. And some of the stuff is just ridiculous. Ridiculous, isn't it? But I bet some of it is the writers just having bets with each other to see who can get away with the most in the script. I bet it is. That sounds like something you would do. I'd do it. Wouldn't you? Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. And I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.